the game. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That's right, folks. We're going to be playing Dark Parables 10, Godi Lux and the Fallen Star. This is the beta for it, and wow. I don't even know where to start. That opening movie was pretty cool. Like, the little running away there at the end just made me think of anime for some reason. But, um, I'm your Gibbs. Yes, of course, I'm your Gibbs. I always should remind all of you who I am. I have recorded every single Dark Parables game. That's right, one, two, three, all the way through to nine. If you want to check any of the earlier ones out, I'll have playlists for you in the video description. We're doing this live! That's right, it's Saturday, which means it's time for a live stream. I'm going to wave to all the folks over at hitbox.tv slash your gibbs. And of course, all the folks over at gaming.youtube.com. Hello and welcome! We're going to go ahead and dive right into this cool looking dark parables casual hard insane yeah whatever no I'm good thanks we're gonna go ahead and hit that casual the, the menu uh, music here seems pretty loud but we'll see how well that turns out for us when we start here ooh that's pretty I like her hair look at her hair how does it, like, stick out like that? It's... <laughs> How did it... Anyways, let's continue. Detective, I'm afraid you won't have much time to enjoy the beauty of Lake Simher, as we've got an urgent case for you. A few days ago, a young boy claimed he was attacked by savage mechanical beasts. We thought it was a case of the boy who cried wolf, but then we discovered a strange magical artifact. The boy thinks the artifact had something to do with the attack. The goal of your mission is to find out more about it. Head to the city and begin your investigation. Good luck, detective. <laughs> there you go. Classic Dark Parables. The carriage gets flipped, dumped, ditched, whatever. Classic Dark Parables opening. Very nice. And even with that old school recorder too. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do uh, special features. 
I think the game looks fantastic. I'm one of those uh, anomalies, I suppose, that I really loved the early Dark Parable games, and I loved all the Epix versions too. I'm not one of those folks that's kind of... I don't know, I feel like Epix has done a good job uh, over the last few that they've done, where they've slowly evolved it to be a little more Dark parable if that makes any sense. Uh, but anyways, let's go and see what we can do here. I bet I can snap off that branch. My branch. So quick we do here. Pull that rope to us, please. Rope. We now are here, wherever here is. I lost most of my belongings in the crash. Luckily, I didn't drop the artifact. So I'm loving the snowflakes. Some of them are like really tiny and some of them are like super large in your face. Nice perspective there. A golden cobweb, how is that possible? Ooh, did the bear morph? Saya, I better check that out. Sometimes the betas do have the collectibles, sometimes they don't. Welcome to the land of Bersia, domain of the benevolent queen of Vala. If you aren't an Oslin or an ally of that traitorous breed, proceed. Okay. At least I'm almost to my destination. That doesn't sound very hospitable. It looks like an incomplete set of runes. So did you say there was a bear that was morphing? Oh. Oh. Wait, where's the bear? Ah, la 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 la. Let's go ahead and see what we got cooking here. I'll take this. Drat, I must have lost the key. I'll need another way to open it. We have a golden sun and we have a frozen statue. Let's go this way. The chariot was destroyed. I was lucky to survive. You found a plus item. Let's find out what's inside here. Dominoes! Oh no, maybe not dominoes. It looks like dominoes. Oh. Whoa, Easy what? boy. Calm down. Let's see who this is. Hello, who is this? State your business. The kingdom of Barja is closed to foreigners. Barja? Maybe I should show him in art the artifact and explain why I'm here. Whoa, the steampunk... Whatever this is, I don't know if it's a bear or whatever. This is pretty nifty. An artifact, you say? That is just the kind of lore that appeals to our queen. But I can't let you pass. Well, not unless you want to help me out. I lost my hunting horn somewhere in the forest. I'd look for it myself, but I can't leave my post. Can you help me find it? I will try my best. Oh, now I see it. Yeah, you guys are helping me out in the chat with the morphing objects. It was what I was trying to click on, but uh, yep, we got it. So what happened there? Uh, we have a cloth. No. Still need to somehow deal with that. Let's go to the lake shore. I wonder if nature shaped the cliff of it. Oh, or it's man-made. All the bear references. Neat. Ooh, look, an owl here. A deal is a deal. I'll return when I find the hunting horn. Welcome and happy Catterday indeed. There's something in the embers, but I need to put out the flames before I can grab it. Oh, okay. That'll work. Melting it nicely. A metal raven? Okay, I wasn't sure if that might go there or not. Oh, we can actually still use this for something. Oh, maybe we can use our cloth here? Yes, yes. 
Uh, ooh, we found a rune stone. Aren't we lucky? Huh. So similar but separated for an eternity. That's interesting. <gasps> I'll need more than just my hands to force this open. Crowbar. It could be. I don't know. We'll have to wait and find out. Let's go and do this rune bit here. Wow, I need to solve this. Click on the rune stones to rotate them. Clicking on one will rotate all the adjacent runes. Okay. It's one of these cool puzzles. So close, but so far. <laughs> Come on, game. Don't be so mean with these. What's your strategy for this type of puzzle? Brute force all the way. We're stuck with one. No. Uh, how am I going to do this? Hmm. Yay! The sun and the moon, the bear and the stag. These are the marks of the two kingdoms of the lake. Moons and... Whoa, they're fighting. What? What? Maybe they're in love. What's going on? It's like this carving is telling a story. Something must have happened during the astronomical event. Did it cause a divide? I wish I knew more about the local fairy tales. What have we done here? Well, we can go to the shrine. Let's go this way. What do we have here? <gasps> Doesn't that look like anime? I know it's not traditional anime, but it just there's just something about the style that I find a little bit unique or different than the last Dark Parables. Especially in that opening cutscene when she was running away like that. I could be wrong, but... I am Princess Leda of Barja. I'm looking for the silver stags that have been terrorizing my people. Who are you? And what are you doing here? This is not a safe place. I'd advise you to leave. But perhaps fate has a role for you in all this. I suppose that remains to be seen. Look at the hair. She has such long hair. Whoa. The princess has a golden touch. I've heard of that before. Is it the Midas touch? Fly away, fly away, crow, craven. Raven. You know it, I know it. It's one of those things. And here we go, folks. This is classic Dark Parables fragmented object scene. She does have very beautiful eyes, no doubt. Some of the early uh, fragmented object scenes, and well, frankly, in the early Dark Parable games, man, they were tough. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was, uh, that was kind of part of the pleasure, I suppose, is trying to decipher when you look at the scene what could possibly be a piece of the object you're making and I do like how they've added kind of the name of the object we're making I'm fairly certain that the first Epix Dark Parable game they didn't have the name of the object and that's part of the charm this is a good level of detail here and these objects are small enough to be a challenge I don't know if there's morphing objects in these scenes like they would be in other epix hidden object puzzles it's a creepy face right there yep all the clicky clicky I want to see what's left here 
so we need a couple more pieces. If I lean in real close, that means I can spot them better, right? Is that what your strategy is for you folks that are playing along at home? Do you lean in to spot the stuff easier? Ooh, look, that one got made. Okay, so something green with like a crack through it. Uh, where is this one? I need two pieces so far, or, I mean, two pieces are left. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, there it is, right there by the light. And we'll hit the last one. Very nice. Thank you very much for helping out with that one. We have now made the hunting horn. So pretty. Ooh, it's all cracked though. Oh no. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see the size of that spider? <laughs> that thing is huge. Crazy. Crazy. Who wants to go and stick their head in here? <laughs> Someone met a gruesome death here. Seems like a suitable fate for a grave robber. So we're gonna go ahead and yank this off here. Sure, why not? Aw, thank you very much, Renora. I really appreciate you subscribing on Hitbox. Thank you, thank you so much. That's really sweet of you. Thank you! <laughs> I bet these runes are the same as those on the rune stone. Herein lie the kings of Beresia, the faithful defenders of its lands and its people. Hmm. Sounds like I hear screaming or something. A champion of the sun goddess has seen better days. Ooh, that actually works. Now we just need the moon piece. I don't think I have the moon piece. Hmm. Bear tooth. Okay. Let's see here. Are we still getting morphing objects? Uh, are they gonna be all like bear related maybe? If I had to guess. Let's go back and we'll see if he has anything to say to us. A rusty old sword. Oh, that actually... Oh, wow! Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to work. <laughs> This area was once a single kingdom. The legend says that the land and the lake were divided by a magical barrier after the sun and the moon goddesses quarreled over the fallen star and the wish it can grant. My map! Beautiful. Did they do old school map for this? <gasps> they kind of changed it a little bit. Normally they were just attached by 90 degree turns. Eh, that's okay. Let's see how if we like that. What I really want to be able to do is fast travel between the spots. That's what I most important to me, anyways. Okay, how do I close this thing? Uh oh. What have I done? <laughs> I think I might have messed something up here. Where is the X for this? Ah. Uh... <laughs> I done? Am I blind? I don't see how you're supposed to close this thing. Uh, okay. Uh-oh. Let me just try and start it all. Start it up here. No, I do not want to do your survey right away. I don't think I'm going to have to restart from the beginning, but we'll find out. You know what, it's because I love you guys so much, I'm just going to let the opening scene play twice. We'll skip the logos here. Because if I know a few of you came in maybe five or ten minutes late, so let's let the main opening sequence play twice. <laughs> 